and the ever-improving studio of Will Stewart. Let's get him on. Every single time you come yes. on, there's something added to that studio, mate. It's looking absolutely fire at the moment. What's well, banana? It, well, are you working, for, e- are you working for ESPN? What the <laughs> fuck is going on there? <laughs> oh, I, well, do I work? No, Every... I don't work for ESPN. Why, why are you guys looking so blue? Looking blue. <laughs> <laughs> Just Good one to see guy. you, Will. How you? How you see being, you man? <laughs> I'm doing well. <laughs> doing well. He's got, the, he's he's got two camera shots. Bloody oh, hell. Jesus. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. That's brilliant. <laughs> Someone's spending on their Hunter Studio self. <laughs> you see, you're having a good Christmas, I see. Yeah, I mean, you, obviously, you guys don't watch my show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, well. Tell to no, me. I, I, do, I, I do have something to say. I do yeah, now please. have the best beard in North America. Yeah, um, I think it's confirmed now. Yeah, I mean, give confirmed. it a few weeks and you might have some more competition, but time will tell. But at the moment, I mean, there's only one winner, Will, I have to say. Yeah, no, I'm, there's no competition. <laughs> Cody Just make sure you make sure you don't uh, do any of those tweets that Cody did after retweet it, and then you're going to have to shave your beard. So. I actually shaved my beard about a month before Cody did. We actually had a bet. That was it. Uh, in a Caribou Cup match. Uh, it was when we played Wolves. And you lost. I lost. <laughs> it wasn't about who was winning. It was about we had a we at the beginning of the season we were talking about man for man depth wise, mm. uh, which which squad was more competitive over the whole twenty five man, um, or more balanced over the whole twenty five man thing, and that between, led into the game between which Tottenham I want, and who between Tottenham and who Tottenham and Wolves. Yeah, and you said Wolves. Yeah, over the but whole. How's that looking now? Squad. How's that looking now? <laughs> um. Well, now we have Conte, right? This is when we had Nuno. So yeah, it's correct. A little bit different. Correct. It's a, but, it's, 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 yeah, it's a manager. It made, made the big difference. Yeah, huge difference. Yeah, and t- look, t- talk to me about the game tonight. Uh, well, how impressed were you with uh, his in-game management and the way we saw out the game and maybe, you know, how the how he's got players like Bergvine, um, t- you know, performing all of a sudden? Well, I mean, Bergvine, I think, looked like Bergvine. I think he just... he His tenacity in front of the goal, though, some of his dribbling in the box I hadn't seen from him before yeah some of his hold up play and it's maybe because we haven't really kind of seen him in that forward role more of a kind of like when we saw him playing under Jose he played far more defensively right almost kind of like a defensive winger ish right like he wasn't getting into the box he was more playing balls in um tracking back defending yeah. whereas tonight we kind of saw him in a different role that maybe mm. um you know benefits him a lot more yeah he was getting a lot more central positions and how, yeah. how crucial was it for today you know son on the bench who's a player we rely very heavily for goals and lucas and bergvine come in they both get on the score sheet and maybe it kind of gives the indication that they could relieve the pressure a bit on son and kane and when we're talking about who can get the goals in this squad yeah no i mean uh, yeah that's actually what i've been that's been my biggest gripe um this entire season is that we we didn't have enough other people in the team scoring goals, right? Like yeah. last season, it was Bale, Son, and Gain. That was it. I mean, you had maybe one or two other people that scored one or two goals, right? But mm-hmm. for the most part, it's that's what it's been. And that needs to be spread out more. Like, if you look at, like, the... With the exception of maybe Liverpool, but even them as well, um, you know, Chelsea, it's, you know, you, you have, like, 10 people that have six, seven goals, right? So, I mean... um that's something that we've really, really needed, and I'm glad to see it see it happen. Isn't it fascinating that, you know, like, you can look at players, you can treat players one-dimensionally, and then they're going to seem one-dimensional. Like, if you put a player, if you play a system that forces players to be out in the wing, and you and you, and you you that's what you want from them, to get wide and then cut to byline, the old stereotypical winger role, then they're going to seem one-dimensional. You put them now into two kind of tens and a kind of triangular you know, kind of form of attack, like all of a sudden they start to seem like really promising. Now all of a sudden you're not looking at like we only have Son and Kane up front. Now we've got a strike force of four players. But do you see him, do you see him using that as as a formation going forward or that as a, an attack line with uh, Bergwijn, Lucas and Kane up front? Do you see him using that a lot or do you see him using that against maybe the kind of minnows of the league? Um... No, I, I think I think Conte, what Conte really wants to play, um, what he really relies upon, especially going against the top, the the more 
competitive teams is that 352. And in fact, mm -hmm. today when he made that switch, I thought it was tactically perfect, right? Yeah. Our midfield was looking shaky. Um, if you notice, all most of the buildup was happening right there in that middle channel. There was mm -hmm. a hole there with only two yeah. midfielders sitting there. And when Conte made that change, he shirted it up. And Straight West Ham's up. chances away. Um, dropped significantly. Yeah, uh, even their possession dropped significantly in that second yeah. half compared to the first. So, do you think he? Do you think it? He should have seen that. Then, do you think he should have maybe went with that formation from the start, or do you think it was a perfect thing to do? Because I think maybe, the, yeah, sure, Dyer's Kevin kind of done a crazy hell pass through the center, and he's kind of essentially lost that goal, given that goal on a plate. But there was that problem through the first half. We were given too much space in the center of the park. They were getting chances. Yeah, I, I think I, Conte has, he's very particular about what types of players play in those specific roles. Mm -hmm. So that's why he kind of jumps around. Like if you do like a, like an old school study on Conte and his, in his tactics, um, like when he first came to Chelsea, he didn't have the right people. So he kind of played a lopsided 4-4-2, which is kind of what he did with us at the beginning of the year. If you actually look at how Davies was continually running forward. If you look at heat maps from the first three games, he was almost playing like a left back rather than a left sided center back. Mm -hmm. um pushing really high up the pitch uh then as as the system started to form he started playing more of a, a traditional you know three four two one and then you know yesterday and uh, or at, with liverpool and today he playing a three five two in certain aspects and at inter it was the three five two that he had the, the most success mm. with yeah he just did he didn't have that i i don't think he had a deep line playmaker that he really trusted in harry winks to seem to fill that position so um you know, good, good on them for you know stepping up. So. Yeah, with that three five two, you need a. You, he likes his register. He likes his kind of guy yeah. who's going to take the ball and then whoosh, like crazy Conte, turkey, nice little yeah. balls through. You know, and that's maybe what Winks' that. role might, might be. Yeah, and I maybe he also goes into the market as well and looks for that specific type of player, or he relies on Winks. I don't know. Well, I mean, he, Did, even at Inter, he converted an attacking mid to a deep lying playmaker, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. when they played to a three five two, so. Mm -hmm. How much? Um, do, how much do we have Lloris uh, to thank for for the result? Today? Oh, a thousand percent. My man of the match today was Hugo Lloris by far. There's no yeah. doubt about it for me. And is um, that worrying though that he had to be man of the match, or was it just? Yeah, I mean that first half, especially the second half of that first half, man, they were they were drilling us, mm -hmm. drilling us. I mean every time every time we turned the ball over, I was just biting my fingernails. Yeah. But, um, but man, we got Chelsea going forward coming up. Um, hopefully we go the two legs with them. The only the only downside to that is is if we get past Chelsea, we could see another Tottenham Liverpool final, and uh, uh, those aren't very interesting. Yeah, you want another one? What about, what about... <laughs> Historically, what, so you say you're completely dismissing Arsenal getting to the final? Oh one? yeah, Arsenal. <laughs> would you all about an Arsenal Tottenham final? Would you? Would you I'd love that. You enjoy that. That would be you, amazing. You like it? You like it? Oh, best yeah, case scenario, it. yeah. I'd love that. Would you be able to enjoy yeah, that day? Would you not be a nervous wreck for, for that for that I don't know, game I day? No, I wouldn't be a nervous wreck, man. I'd be I'd be trying to, you know, figure out how to get over there for that one. That would be a I'd be right. one for the things. But I mean if I look into my uh into the matrix here and <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't see Arsenal getting through. So. Uh, all right, so we're not getting through. Amazing. Good to know. <laughs> Anything, anything else you see there? Are we signing anyone in January? Um, no, Daniel Levy is kind of one of those anomalies in the Matrix. Um, <laughs> it's, it's blotted out. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Amazing. Thanks for absolutely oh, brilliant, classic. Will. Good to All see right, you. All right, guys. Merry always, Christmas, man. and we'll see Merry you guys Christmas. Yeah, next Merry Christmas. Time. Time. Fantastic to see you, Will. And we'll right, speak to you soon. Take care. Nice one. <laughs> uh, <What a> legend. <laughs> We got a little peek into the Matrix. Absolutely fantastic. Didn't think I'd be seeing that, saying that in this show. Uh, but you never know on the post-match fan show. Weird and wonderful things can happen. Yeah.